Hi, everybody. Rob the Robot here. And I'm Terry, the Terry Dactyl. And today's show is all about, well, who can tell me what this is? It's a uh, ink splatter. Right. And uh, uh, no, kids, a little help, please. A spider. That's right. Ooh, scary. Does anyone know what spiders eat? Correct. Spiders eat insects. Whew. I thought he was going to say they ate pterodactyls. I wish. <laughs> Joking. If you look up in the sky, you might see a steamship floating by. Rob the Robot Terry 2, Trish reporting just for you. Steambots, adventures in learning, get the wheels in your head turning. Steambots, adventures in learning for you and me. Steambots. No, 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 no. That's not right. Oh, yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It's time to start the show. But Terry's not here. Well, we'll have to start without her. Thanks, Carla Cuckoo. So, spiders. Now, as you can see by this drawing... Ooh, sorry, I'm late. Again? Terry, where have you been? Oh, I got tangled up at the library. Well, with all those spider webs, you must have been in the basement. I was, and I found something for today's topic. Oh, show us, show us, show us, show us! Well, well, I'll show you a little later. What did I miss so far? Yes, right. Uh, where was I? Spiders, gear brain. Oh, yeah, spiders. Now, here we label all the parts of a spider. Rob, did you draw that? Why, yes, I did. Gosh, it really pops off the page. Whoa! Boy, you weren't kidding. Hey, boys and girls. My name is Spaulding. You may have seen me in your backyard, your basement, or as a spooky Halloween decoration. Was that you? All those spider decorations look alike to me. Dude, what if I said all canaries look the same to me? A canary? I'm not a canary. She's a pterodactyl. And I'm a majestic eagle. Uh, no, you're a cuckoo. Well, we'll agree to disagree on that. But we spiders might look similar because all spiders have the same body parts. Like eight legs, and eight eyes, a cephalothorax, and... Cephalothorax. Oh, that's a tongue twister, isn't it, Rob? <laughs> Not for me. Robots don't have a tongue. Cephalothorax. I've got it. Step on my floor, tax. Well, not quite. It comes from the Greek words for head and thorax. Hey, kids, can you say cephalothorax? Cephalothorax, exactly. <coughs> um, as I was saying. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Spalding, please continue. And an abdomen? Now these are called spinnerets. I used to do spinnerets in ballet class. Uh, you're thinking of something else. Uh, thank you, Spalding. You've got some really cool body parts. Trish alert! Trish alert! Whoa, what is that? Oh, Trish is broadcasting live on location. She has something special for us. Let's take a look. Hi, Steambots. I'm Trish, your roving reporter. And I'm here with my new friend, Zigzag. She's a garden spider that can be found in eastern North America. She can easily be identified by her colorful black and yellow markings. Her male mate is brown and tiny, like this guy. <laughs> Aw, she found a boyfriend. As you can see, she weaves a unique web. Look at the zigzag pattern. The zigzag is used to attract the insects that she eats. They're known as prey. Look, she's got one right now. Spinnerets spray the spider silk. She wraps her food in it. She wraps her food in silk? Doesn't she have any plastic wrap? Watching Zigzag eat is making me hungry. Yeah, we can hear. Is it time for snacks? Almost. Now it's time for music and movement. You know, Carla is right, Steambots. Time really does fly when you're having fun together. Come on, kids. 
Let's get up and dance together to the web wiggle. Take it away, Rob. She puts her eight legs in, she puts her eight legs out, she puts her eight legs in, and she shakes them all about. She does the web wiggle as she shakes eight legs about. That's what the and candy and chocolate and so... Uh, no, no, we're not doing all that. Let's just watch the movie. Here's another interesting fact. A spider's silk is fascinating. If the threads were the thickness of a pencil, it would be strong enough to stop a jet plane. That'll help when you need to catch a plane. Wow, Terry, that's really interesting. Whoa, she caught another one! Zigzag knows which prey can hurt her and which are harmless. To protect herself from harmful prey, like a bee, she wraps a cocoon around it until it can no longer hurt her. When it can't hurt her anymore, she moves it to the center of the web where she consumes the meal. What do you think is poking around in there? A pterodactyl? Very funny, Rob. Hey kids, what do you think she wrapped? That's right, a bee! Oh, look at that. It looks like we have a question from a viewer at home. Go ahead, Trish. That's right, Rob. Emmy wants to ask Spaulding a question. Sure. Hey, Spaulding, you still hanging out with us? I sure am. What's your question, Emmy? Emmy wants to know, can you fly through the air like Spider-Man? Whoa, great question. I sure can fly. In fact, spiders can actually travel thousands of feet above the Earth through a process known as ballooning. You mean like windsurfing? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, so thank you, Emmy, for that great question. Boy, ballooning looks fun. Do you think I could do that? I don't know, but I know who we should call to find out. Professor Orion, incoming message for you. Hello, Professor. Hello, Rob. What can I do for you? Oh, Professor Orion, do you think that I could go ballooning like a spider? Hmm, that's a tough question. Sounds like we're going to have to use steam to figure that out. Well, of course. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Let's see. We're going to need science. We definitely need technology. A lot of engineering. A pinch of art. And plenty of math. A key ingredient that 
to do it. Calculations. In order to go ballooning like a spider, this would be your maximum height to weight ratio. Aw, look at you. You're so cute. Sorry, Rob. You're too big and heavy. Unless you want me to shrink you down to the size of a spider. Actually, you could stand to lose a few nuts and bolts. Well, thanks, Professor Orion, but I'm happy the way I am. I like tiny Rob. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Sorry, Steambots. We're out of time. Uh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. No, 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 we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Well, look at that. Time really does fly. Hmm, I need to fix that. He's been saying that. And thank you, Spalding, for dropping in. Spalding? Hello? Well, <laughs> it appears he's caught a breeze. Okay, Steambots, until our next adventure, I'm Trish, your roving reporter, signing off. Thanks for a great time, everyone. Goodbye. See you next time. If you look up in the sky, you might see a steamship floating by. Rob the Robot Terry 2, Trish reporting just for you. Steambots, adventures in learning. Get the wheels in your head turning Steambots Adventures in learning for you and me Steambots